guys, Guy here to show you a quick way to make a target stand out of some scrap wood. So I keep on seeing guys marketing these awesome steel targets for $400. I don't know about you, but I can't afford that. So, came up with a solution. Grabbed an old bed frame that I accidentally broke and cut it up into a couple different pieces. And now I'm going to use some scrap screws that I had sitting in the garage in my drill. We're going to knock this out super quick. Uh, the best way to do this, I found, is to do your cross posts first. So that way you don't have to deal with balancing it and getting your back post that's going to give you your stability and allow the target to stand up. So I'm going to take my first one. I like to do the top first so it's easiest. I take a screw. Knock this bad boy out. Sink it down, grab one more, two so it doesn't uh, wiggle around or whatnot. And I offset my screws so it's a little bit easier uh, to keep your wood from splitting and it keeps it from twisting. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I take mine and put it uh, maybe about 20 inches down about two feet down, nothing too crazy. This is gonna be dependent on like your target sizes. You guys have seen some of my targets before. Uh, they're the NRA like, target action shooting uh, targets. I'm, I'm not sure which model, but they're your standard size targets. If you have the smaller ones for like the size of a book, uh, like a piece of printer paper size, maybe do your stands a little bit closer. Uh, or just run it the way it is. I have done both on this type of stand and it usually works out. Sink that bad boy. Get in my bottom one. Now I cut my bottom piece of wood and the piece that's gonna come behind and give me stability a little longer just so it has a lighter base so it doesn't tip over. Uh, what's nice about this type of target stand is it's super cheap. You can destroy it, it's not a big deal. But there's also a lot of negative space that's being used behind the, uh, the target. So you're not actually going to be shooting your target stand for the most part. Uh, especially if you make your uprights a little bit longer. So you can put two targets up, you're not shooting your target at all, you're just shooting the air behind your paper. Uh, which is nice. Because then you save your target and you don't have to make uh, any more target stands. Super easy. That kind of comes the hard part. If you did a bad cut like me, I did a terrible cut on that side because I used a handsaw. Uh, try to find the best one for you. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it in that little right angle that I made by putting, uh, putting my first board on. So before I get there though, I'm gonna make sure that it fits semi-okay. I'm gonna take two screws, I'm gonna put them maybe at like a 30 degree angle, nothing super steep. I'm gonna drop them in about halfway, so it's a little bit easier for me to uh, put them in, or finish screwing them all the way in once I get closer to doing it. So, important note, if you're building this on a Pelican case, don't screw all the way through the top, because that would be a really dumb move. I'm not saying that anyone did that. bad way up. You can honestly just do it with one hand, hold it with one hand, drill with the other. Normally works out. If you can get the angle right. I built the rest of these that I have on the ground so it's a lot easier, but hey man, I'm trying to do it so you guys can see. Boom. All done. Set it down. Stands up on its own. Thank you very much. Uh, after the credits or whatever, I guess we'll have a picture of these up so you can see how it looks with the target. But that's everything I got for you guys today. Thank you for supporting the channel.